everybody. Well, long time no video, huh? Oh, yeah. yes. As you can see, I got some blinds up finally. <laughs> At least I'm not getting any glare. Whoa. This time. Come on. Hear me now? Okay. I think I'm gonna do the calling your name look. So, first things first. Oh yes, before I start, I've got a new primer recently. From Sonia Kashuk at my local Target. Now, from use, I must say that the product creases, tends to crease a lot if you don't do this. If you don't set it in the crease of your eye, it'll, the eyeshadows are more likely to, um, uh, if you can see me correctly, um, I wish my webcam had uh, the zoom feature. This would make it life a lot easier, a lot easier, and I might want a new camcorder for Christmas. So, Since I do have, like I said, more videos on my camera that I can't really upload on to my down upload onto my computer because it's acting like I didn't upload the app. Oh yes. Now again, I'm just priming the eyes with this primer. It does work pretty well, but you, like I said, it's more like a sticky base than a primer. Oh, okay. of course, since there's waxes in this primer, so it's more like a balm, almost. It's more like a, hmm, eyeshadow balm, pretty much. It's more like that of a concealer. But it goes on very well on the eyelids, other than that. So, now, I'll show you what I mean by saying that you need to set your eyeshadows in, into the crease of your eye. I usually use my Coastal Sense blender brush, but, but I had had to wash it because it got dirty from another eyeshadow that I've been using, so I'm going to go ahead and use a different brush for this part the setting. Now, I add a little more primer where it tends to move a lot because this arm was really slippery slidey but, but other than that it would kind of remind you of the NYX eye primer I used to have that one and it creased the same way I remember so it's kind of like that alright so alright I'm going to use my face powder my olive number two face powder from Mineral Fusion. Alright, I'm just going to use this brush since I don't have my um, Coastal Sense 250 on me at this time. So I'm just going to use that to set the primer and my crease of the eyes, the brow bone and eye socket so it won't move around on me when I go ahead and add shadow on there. I'm leaving the lid bare so that it can still grab onto the eyeshadows we're putting on there. Although I didn't use these exact steps because I didn't have, have this primer at the time that I did this calling your name look. So again, just doing the, just setting it in into the crease of the eye with this brush. And of 
course, getting my inner corner too to brighten it up a little more. And of course, we got that. I should probably put up a couple of pictures, but I don't have any. So I might do that in post editing if possible. So. With that done, now I'm going to go ahead and add my other base, wherever the hell it is. Excuse my French. Ah, there it is. There it is, a eyes, lips, and face cream eyeshadow that I transferred to this container, the color Dawn. It's in a much bigger container than this, the, its original packaging, but I changed it because it makes things more compact and easier to carry around. But I'm just going to go ahead and stick that all over my eyelid as a color base so that it all uh, comes together. one I done, and I'm also going to, since I got a lot of product on my finger, go ahead and use, do the same to the other eye. Create a sticky base. See that? Oh, the camera's picking shimmers up. Whoa. Shimmer rock. Alright, I'm just gonna go all over with that. That all over. Sure. I got it here. I'll do the lower lid last because Here we are. We got lit. So. All right. Here we are. That's the uh, eyelid done. Now we're going to go on to the eyeshadow on the top part of the lid. I'm starting out with not Egyptian gold, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna use the Zuzu Lux Eternity eyeshadow. You've seen me use this one before, but here it is. You can see that. Oh, mm -mm. there it is. It's a beige color. So where I'm going to place that is in, in I'm going to place that one in the inner third of the eyelid where I have the sticky color base I'm going to pack that right in there See what I'm doing. Um, sorry, I got that song stuck in my head. Um. I don't know why the thing's freezing up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add, do the same thing on the other eye. This, like, the warm golden beige color. It's actually a neutral since it has a neutral, a icy shimmer, cool shimmer to it, so, and 
automatically, in my opinion, makes it a neutral and can work on any skin tone. I think it can. At least, but... I got it. So now you ought to have that. Should have this. All right. Going on to a slightly darker brown, and uh, I'm going to be using my Coastal Scents palette for this one. If I can even find the stupid thing, um, there it is. <laughs> In oh. Going on here? What happened? Oh, ah, uh, sorry. My <laughs> my screen came into place, and I'm gonna be using the same brush again. Ah, again. Come on, screen, stop doing this. Come on, screen. Come on. Screen went black on me and the cursor's going, but <sighs> anyway. I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that towards the center part behind it. Whoa. Now we're back. Whoa. What's going on? Why is it sticking? Again, going from the center, the lid out. She had a brown in the uh, half of the lid. Why is it sticking? <coughs> what is wrong with this? Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Just basically using this dark or brown from the center of the lid out. Just really scrubbing it into my of my eye too, as well to add some depth into that. I wonder why it's doing this. Alright. I'm whoa. There's <sighs> always trouble with this thing these days. But anyway, my camera still going. Oh, there it is. Anyway, I had already placed a bit of a dark, darker brown, if you can see that, in from the center eyelid outward. You can see that. I had brought in my camera a little closer. I'd also started adding a bit of darker brown into the outer third of my eyelid. Just on pretty much my outer third of the lid and some of the outer V. I'm just gonna bring someone in as well. Let's see. Does it look 
field marine wares is is a dark, smoky look anyway, but I'm gonna also add in a little bit more of that darker brown here as well. Just my outer third of the lid on. Alrighty. We already got my... You should have this by now. You can see that the eyeshadow on the top is almost complete. Alright. So, last thing we're going to need is a bit of black, alright, a bit of black, right at the very outer V of the eye. Alright, so we should have this. I'm going to go into my MAC palette now. Um, and I'm going to add a bit of carbon from there. Alright, I'm gonna go into the carbon one, if you can see that, below, and alright, I'm gonna go ahead and add on the small side of my smoke brush. Add a bit of that black right into that there, the V right here. Um, um, if you can see what I'm doing right here, where it's black is what you want. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, the reason why it may look weird is because I'm looking into the camera lens. I might need to actually get my mirror so that you can. See what I'm doing. I'm coming a little closer so, can, so I, we can both see what I'm doing. There's the outer. Okay, right into that outer V. See where the black? That's where that black is. Alright. And ever so slightly there. Right now, we're just, at this point, we're just placing it. Right, add another little pass at this. Not too, too much of it, but just enough so it shows up. Ouch. Oh yeah, so that was because I knocked my elbow into there, which has this still having a lot of discomfort there. Alright, that's the one side of my eye. Done, and I'm going to go ahead and add the same thing on my other side, doing the exact same thing. Should be about even. Blending in the lid. Just blending 
out the dark black right there. Oops, sorry, I zoned thing down into my brain. It says that you never want to have do too much, otherwise it can look kind of harsh. And we don't need that, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and... And smooth out that black. The black right here, so that it is gradient. Something's beeping out there. It must be the bread machine. So... Well, I've got the bread done, and we got this. The smoky part of it. Blend this a little more to get more blending to get this good. These are I had to lock my door so I don't get sucked into any more stuff in the middle of my video. So. Alright, we've got this. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of eyeliner now. It's time. I'm going to go ahead and use the black one. Oh yeah. Speaking of black eyeliner, I have gotten three new eye coals from Physician's Formula, the borderline one. They're shimmer strips for the brown eyes, and I'm using the black one. And in order to get a thin line, I'm going to go ahead and add this, use this brush right here. I'm just picking some up on my liner brush right here. There goes Grandma on her tangent again. Alright, um, we got eyeliner so I'm just gonna go ahead and push it right into my lash line. We're retaining as much lip space as we can. I'll go ahead and add, pick up a little bit more. This is my push liner brush, by the way. Now using from also from Eco Tools and then just go ahead and do this. Keep add another pass of it in my upper lash line. Just to add some definition. And we got that. You can see the difference. From one eye to the other. You can see that. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. Break even on the other side of the eye. Same thing as we did the previous. Exact same thing. 
can be using the exact same eyeliner and the exact same tool. So, I'm going to do the other eye the same fashion as I did as I did the other eye. All right, I'm going to add a little more, and we'll also go ahead and set that in a little bit as well, and a little tad again. bit of liner, pop that highliner on there, and just perfecting my line a little bit, smudge it out a little bit, we'll go ahead and add, set my eyeliner aside for now, uh, and if grandma might start screaming for me at any second, so, if I have to yell back, if I'm yelling back to her from here, it's because she cannot hear, okay? She has problems with hearing, so do pray for her. And this... I just want to put her on medical marijuana, I swear. Get her high for once in her life. That's what she needs after all the stuff she's gone through. Be honest. So I'm gonna go ahead and use carbon to set that eyeliner, and I'll be right back with you. Hi everyone. Well, I'm back, and I've already set the top eyeliner, and I decided to just go ahead and. Spread the remaining leftover along the bottom lashes for now, since I'm somewhat being brushed by my mother, so, but I promise I will be back with you guys in a second. Go ahead and wing that a little bit. Calm video. Oh, there we are. Well, well. I decided to go ahead and add eyeliner a little bit to my bottom lash line. Some mascara as I was rushed because mom was calling me for dinner, but I'll go ahead and finish up. Pardon the length of this tutorial. It's going to be pretty long, I can see. So... Sorry for this, it's because of all of the interruptions and whatnot. So, without further ado, whoa, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. Ouch. Oh yeah, the reason for the constant ouch is because of my elbow. You know what happened to my elbow. I had had an accident a couple weeks ago, and I bruised it, and it hurt a lot. And no, I didn't cry, but it hurt a lot. It felt like a break. I didn't hear any popping, but I felt something moving in it. Oh, whoa. There we are. But, anyway, on to the video. The mark on there is nearly, well... The mark, if you can see where it is. It used to be a lot worse. It was black and blue all over my elbow. 
it was really that bad. Plus, I couldn't really move my arm very much, but I was told that I had to keep moving it, or else it would stiffen, get stiff on me. But, anyhow, alright, we're gonna start off by, finish up by concealing the under eyes. And I'm gonna use my yellow corrector under the eyes to brighten things up a little bit. Alright, now it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But we're gonna fix that in right now. I'm gonna fix that now, so it's not gonna look weird for very long. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and Alright, now we got one side taken care of, and the same on my other eyes, on the inner there. You can line the waterline if you wish. I might just do it a little bit, but not too much. Even though Deal and Irene didn't have eyeliner on there, as far as I can tell, along the waterline. Maybe she did, I don't know, she might have had a nude one or a white one on there, but alright, I'm just going to conceal the under eyes a little bit and add a bit of powder all over the face all over my face a little bit not a whole lot there if I was going out tonight or driving tonight I would have worn something. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set my corrector underneath the eyes first and foremost. Then on the all over my under eyes. I'm going to do that and top the eyes. Do the eyes. Right, I've set the under eyes. I'm also going to go ahead and add some down the nose a little bit too. All over the, all over. Dusting, starting, concentrating where it's most needed. And I do have a lot of oil in my skin. I have oily skin, so a lot of people with all this skin have that. With type, probably a type 4 or a high 3 or low 4. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and go all the way around on the nose. Under eyes, the nose. Concentrating. Of course, where the most coverage is needed. Cheeks, too, to cover up the veins. Some people's skin isn't as translucent as some other skin might be. Even skin color. Get that and get my chin next. That's another problem area. Which is why you must always clean your brushes. Sometimes I forget and this is what happens. Stupidly, I know. <laughs> and I'm gonna be a cosmetologist. So go figure. 
Anyway, I'm just focusing on the chin area till all the product is blended. There it's blended. I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna go ahead and go above my lip next. Same thing. Just concentrating it where it's needed most, which is the center of my face. Which where I have the most issues. Some redness on the nose. It's a little red. And I do have some discoloration above my lip as well. At least I am man enough to admit that I have that on my face. Right, go all over the cheek too. And now we're becoming even. We're breaking. We've broke. We're breaking even on this side now. I'm also gonna go ahead and get some more powder and do my other cheek as well. There's my, there the cheek. Go ahead and add some to the cheek as well. Well, the lip around the nostril. And basically just buffing on the cheeks and the under eyes. Basically evening out the rest of my skin. All right. I've gotten the whole lower part of my face even up and blended so that it doesn't appear powdery if you come up close to me. And same thing, I'm just going to do my forehead now. Now I'm going to do my forehead in the same way. Do the most concentration on my problem points on my face. I'm just going to go ahead and go where there's the most issue. What you going to do? Okay, baby. Just gonna go on the temples as well, and of course blend everything together so that there's no seams. All right, we finished up the skin, the base of the skin. Now for blush, I will certainly add some blush, even though the eye is somewhat heavy. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. I don't know how that happened, people, but I'm just going to go ahead and add some blush to my cheeks. I decided I'd add the peach one that I made myself. It's from my own pigment that I had made. But okay. anyway, I'm just going to add some peach flush to this look. I could also have added a rosy color, but this is what I have on hand. I don't really want to leave my camera again, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the peachy blush that I got. Again, taking about this much on there, and basically place it onto my cheeks here. I suppose peach can look pretty good on all of skin. I actually have olive skin as you can see, so what do you think about peach blush on me? Peaches, the blush. Look that, it's really pretty. But, uh, basically blush, peach color. It's basically smoothing it so that it blends together and appears like it's coming out from within. 
the peachy flush. It really does warm up my skin tone modes. Alright, I might go ahead and add in a little bit of peach, the same peachy color down my nose a little bit. Spread it so we get a glow going. Small amount of it down here, down the nose a little bit. Add the color of the face. Okay, now <sighs> I think I'm going to go ahead and add some lipstick as well. Okay, make your phones back on. Oh, <laughs> wrong ear, bud. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and add some lipstick now. First, a little bit of balm on there. Small amount of it. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just all right. I'm going to use the color taupe from Gabrielle. Since D in the music video has a somewhat brownish, nudish lip, somewhat brownish, pinkish, which is suited for this look. And had lip liner and brown, I don't have that. So. Like I said, I would use brown lip liner if I had it, but I don't. So, I'm just going to stick to lip stick this one is again taupe from Gabriel Gabrielle does not contain any whale fat or anything like that. It is vegan. Okay. So, the look is finally complete. And I'll bring the ouch this elbow got me again. It's pinching again, but I'm gonna show you the final look now by bringing the camera up close. What the eyeshadow looks like. I probably uh, I think I might go ahead and add a bit of eyeliner to the waterline a little bit. Not too much, but very light. 
slightly. There we are. And of course, you could have also added fake lashes to this look if you were going out, but I might film in just another video. But I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of more of mascara on. But this, but overall, this look is complete. I hope you all had a good time learning how to do this look. I'll see you all soon. Bye!